Rams at Cardinals. So we got a nice little division matchup here to start the afternoon slate. Uh, your matchup that matters, Carmen. What do you got here? I'm going to roll both my matches that matters and my plus factor all into one because they're all related. Uh, it's Cooper Cup versus the Cardinals cornerbacks because Cooper Cup had 21 targets. <laughs> Pink one, obviously ranked first in the league. Uh, 14 catches, which was five more than any other player, at 110 yards. Six catches gaining a first down, which is ranked second in the league uh, in the first season. Or the first, first week, rather. Um, mm-hmm. I Especially now with Puka Nakua on IR, this offense, as it does, runs through Cooper Cup. And it, how can you handle him? He's going to be going up against our friend from Tampa, friend of mine, friend of ours, Sean Murphy Bunting. Uh, he is he, he is going to be their best bet against Cooper Cup. And uh, one force in completion this last game, 30 snaps, three targets, two catches allowed for 12 yards. That that's great. That's fantastic. You're going to need to do that now against one of the best receivers. In the league. Yeah, so and that's going. That oh, he's go my ahead, plus go ahead. factor. He's my plus factor. My matchup that matters is just Cup versus the the uh, Arizona secondary. No, so. it makes sense that, that that you're that you're wrapping that all in a one, and it sort of plays off of my matchup that matters here for this one because the Rams' offensive line, by the time the game was ending in Detroit last week, they were down to just two of their slated starters along the offensive line. They had injuries throughout, and it just it was not good. When you look at their overall performance, whether it was the starters or the guys that came in afterwards. They allowed the most QB hits, eight. They allowed the most pressures, 23. uh, Recorded a 16.2 PFF grade as a whole unit in week one. I mean, that was dead last in the NFL, as you would expect. On the flip side, they're sort of going up against a Cardinals defensive line that also was not great in week one. Lowest pass rush grade in the NFL at 50.6. Only 10 pressures in week one, which is just 26 in the NFL. So it's sort of like a... Which worse is worse, right? Like, which of these units is actually going to be the poor unit, and can the other one actually capitalize on it? And if the Rams are going to struggle on the offensive line, to your point, Cooper Cup only becomes that much more valuable because Matthew Stafford's going to be getting rid of the ball immediately. They're they're not dumb. They like they'll be able to see how the offensive line is doing in practice. They know how they did this past Sunday against the Lions, and so they're going to, like Cooper Cup is going to have to be the hot receiver on basically every single call. Like he's going to have to run a route where he can get open and Matthew Stafford can at least give him a chance if he's got to get rid of the ball before two and a half seconds. So to me, 21 targets last week, obviously that's a lot, but might be in for another 21 this week. So Sean Murphy Bunting might have his hands full. That's a matchup that matters. I also think that my plus factor here has to be the Rams run defense because Mm. for the Cardinals, not just the Kyler Murray aspect of it. James Conner's a good back, and I think he's a really underrated back. And he's 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 graded out at elite levels before in his career. He didn't have an elite point performance this past week, but it's just always some tough runs. I, I love Trey Benson being the spell back as well. The Rams run defense, highest EPA per rush allowed in week one for this team. So it's sort of the Cardinals what they want to do the most running the ball could play right into a weakness of the Rams defensive line. Now with guys like Kobe Turner and Braden Fisk, although their run defense grades weren't terrible, just as a whole, they were not really able to, uh, to hold the lions the way that they needed to, when they decided to go to the ground game. So I think that's a plus factor here is how the Rams can defend the run. Cause if they can defend it well, and all of a sudden now you're forcing Matthew Stafford to be a passer. Well, you're already down Cooper cup. We know the offensive line didn't pass block well last week. So I think all of those factors go into it there. 